You've just updated EAFC 24 to title update 13, and you want to know where I get all of my amazing, amazing, realistic mods for our best player Karimo channel here on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you how to mod your FC24 step by step to ensure all your mods are fully working. Please do leave a thumbs up on the video. If you do learn something here today, leave a comment down below if you need any extra help. And without further ado, let's dive right in. So I've just updated my game to title update 13. For the very first time, ladies and gentlemen, go subscribe to Regents Plays, by the way. Link in the description on our second channel. It's absolutely amazing. Now, we need mods. First thing I like to do is make a folder called FC24 Mods. And here you can see all of my subfolders from Title Update 4 all the way to Title Update 13. Now, I've already downloaded uh, a lot of my Title Update 13 mods, as you can see, but I'm still going to show you where to get them from. This just uh, this is just helpful so you know where all of your mods are for future reference. So if I ever need a Title Update 10 mod, I know here are all of my Title Update 10 mods. Here are all the Title Update 8 mods and so forth and so on. So of course, when you make your folder, it will be empty now. We need to actually download our mods. But first things first, we need our mod manager. So go to Google or Bing or whatever you use and type in FC24 mod manager and click on this top one right here. You can see the top link is a Regiskin video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the front page of mods. We're actually the second video as well. We're right there as well. We're, we're, we're the main modding channel here on YouTube when it comes to FIFA, okay? I just want to let you know that right now. Click on this top link right here and I'll take you to this page. It's now updated to version 1.0. 1.7.2 they have a new updated version of the mod manager click on download right here it'll take you here and click on the green download button in the bottom corner when you download it you'll get a winrar file like this right click on it hover over winrar and click extract here and it will make a yellow folder like this double click that to open it and you will see your fifa mod manager the purple and black logo double click on that and it will open up your fifa mod manager now this will be empty for you on the first time opening of course i already have all of my old title update 12 mods in but we're going to update them to title update 13 it should be said a new thing in fc24 now you now need the live editor you need the live editor in order for your mods to work a lot of people have been running to issues because their mods are not working ladies and gentlemen you do need the live editor i showed up to do it in the last video but apparently it didn't work for a lot of people when they extracted it to get the live editor all you do is type in fc24 live editor go to the patreon and find the version you want so i think i use version uh 24.1.1.5 so Aranak2, I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly, but you don't have to pay for it. It is free to download, as you can see right here. Uh, FC24 Live Editor version 24.1.1.5. Click on this blue link right here, and it will download your live editor. Once you've downloaded it, right-click on it, hover over WinRot, and click Extract here, and it will extract with the launcher now. I'm going to show you how to use it a little bit later after we get our mods, but you need to launch this before your mod manager. Again, I'm going to go through that step-by-step step later on. Just download it for now so you have it ready. Now we need mods. So FC24 mods, ladies and gentlemen. And then it's just about finding what mods you want. There's a lot of good websites that I'll link in the description down below. Go check them out and just see what mods you want. Make sure they are title update 13. Uh, so EAFC24 all-in-one kits mod. This is for title update 13. I like, you know, custom kits. So you go down here, you click on download and you click on download and boom, it will start downloading. I actually don't have this yet, so we need to download it. There's Creator Club stuff. There's London Red Bull. There's uh, another kit pack here. 500 kits. I'm going to download this as well because, you know, you never know which kit you want to download. I'm going to go to Mediafire just because it's easier. Click on download and it will start downloading. I've downloaded the improved career mode mod as well. You can always read on about these. Just click on them and read on whatever you want. We've downloaded that one as well, which looks very good. IMS is another one, which I've not downloaded yet for Title Update 13. So I'm going to click on part one. It'll take you here. Just wait a few seconds and click on I'm human. Three, two, one... And then click on get a link. It will download and click on download. While that's going, you can download part two. Wait for I'm human. Click on it. Close the pop-ups. Click on it again. Wait three. One. Click on get link. Click on download. And then we go to part three. Close the pop-ups. Wait for I'm human. Click on it. Close. Click on it. Three. Two. One. Click on get link. And click on download. It should be said while I'm doing this. If you close the pop-up straight away and don't click on anything you're not supposed to, there are no viruses. I always get people commenting on my videos every single time I do a mod tutorial saying, oh, there's viruses. Oh, I got this. I got that. I've been using these since FIFA 20, ladies and gentlemen. I've even gone back and started modding old FIFAs as well. 
I have not gotten a single virus, a single pop-up saying, oh no, don't download this. I've got none of that. So either you're lying just to try and make my videos look bad, or you've clicked on something that I've not clicked on in these videos. So just click on everything I click on in these videos. Do not click on any pop-ups or anything like that and you will be fine. Now, when you've got all your mods, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to import them. So we're gonna have them side by side like this. And now we need to get all of our updated mods into our new mod manager. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna delete all of these old mods that I no longer want. So I've updated mods for all of the Anth gameplay mods. So I'm gonna uh, go here, click remove, and it will uninstall all of them. All of the eSIM ones, we now have an updated version of, so we don't need them. Right, so now we have a pretty empty mod manager. I don't know if these kits still work, so we're going to test them out. But now we need to add on all of our new mods. So first things first, we'll add in... What should we go for? All-in-one version 5. I think that's the kit mod, if I'm not mistaken. Foot goose, all in... Oh, we already have that. Okay, we'll get rid of it and add it again. So we already have that updated. Not a worry. All-in-one mod. Oh, so that's the all-in-one unlock mod okay we'll add those in as well even though we're going to do them separately the zone we'll go for sky sports sky sports english sky we'll go sky sports english for our tv logo eSIM. now eSIM actually has a mod order so if you open up the mod order he tells you what order to put it in so that's exactly what we're going to follow right here first is the high lord apply then it is goal nets uh, but there's also one for the Anth gameplay mod, which we use, so we'll use that one. Then it is Gripper Socks. Then we have the Boots and Gloves. Then we have No HUD or Indicators. Uh, Turf's Real. Then we have Lot Color Grading. Then we have the Cameras and Broadcast Cam. Then we have Database. And then last, but not least, we have the Ultra Performance thingy. Lovely. We have a bunch of TV logos. Of course, we have our Sky Sports logo, so that's okay. Unlock stadiums, uh, if we want to use that for our thingy thing. We have the Unlock uh, Manager and Clothing. We already have the All-in-One Unlock mod, but I like to put them in as well, just in case. Oh, I actually like the USA TV logo, so I'm going to use that as well. I'm going to put it next to my Sky Sports. You can only use one of them at a time, of course. Career Overhaul, I want to use that. We also have improved career mode as well, which have we already extracted this? No. So you just click on extract here. Improved career mode. I want as well. Then we need our gameplay mod. Now there is a mod order example that he shows as well. So you put the main gameplay mod at the bottom and then all of the position stuff above. So we want uh, realistic gameplay mod 19. So there's gameplay mod uh, version 19. There's also options. And for, okay, so we're going to go for option, the main gameplay mod we need at the bottom. We'll do that after. Options and variety. He has a bunch of options now. These are new. So you can add a bunch of options into your game. So goalkeeper options. Uh, vanilla goalkeepers. We have uh, isolation option. It option is one that he says to use. I personally love this one. Use one if you want uh, to open the width more. Yeah, so we'll use width option. I'm just going to use all the ones that he uses because he made the mod, so clearly he knows which one's good. Oh, shooting errors option. I kind of want to see that to see some more errors when you're shooting. See how that goes. Right, we now need the IMS mods. So we're going to extract version one or part one, part two, and part three. And we're going to get them all involved this is what it looks like when you're extracting via winrar by the way so part one part two part three are all in we're gonna put them up there um and i think i think i think i think we're good to go now i've not messed with the order at all and sometimes the order does affect whether or not it actually works so again we may launch it and it might not work to begin with. But I think we've added everything we need right now. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, before we actually launch the game, we need to close down our mod manager. It is crucial. These two steps. Firstly, open up your EA app and go to manage and view properties. And inside your view properties, make sure you copy this from the description and paste it exactly how it is. Dash data path FIFA mod data. You need this in your uh, launch options or the game will not launch, ladies and gentlemen. Click on save. Now, we need to go to our live editor first, okay? You need to open your live editor. So double click on this application right here. 
It'll say yes or no. Click on yes, and then it'll give you this message. Using this picture, of you're not going to get banned. It says you're going to get banned. You're playing offline. Trust me, you will not get banned. Click on OK, and it'll open up your live editor. Now, you open up your mod manager. You have to open up live editor first, okay? Then you open up your mod manager, and then you just click on launch, ladies and gentlemen, and you wait for the game to launch. You need to do your launch options. You need to launch live editor first, and then open mod manager and you should be good to go. We're going to test it out. I have some old mods in there as well. With the live editor, the older mods work as well. So the Arsenal gold splash screen that hopefully we see, that's from like title update 8 or something. That's like five title updates ago now, but it's still been working. So we'll see if it works here today and we'll test out some of the other mods. I'm also very excited because version 19 of the gameplay mod that we're using is like the best version I've seen yet. So I've been very, very excited to update to title update 12 and record a career mode video. Of course, if you are new to this channel, if you never watched it before, please do subscribe. We're trying to reach 50k this uh this year. And we literally have the best FIFA career modes, and the best career modes of any game on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. So subscribe, uh, you know, like the video, turn the bell on, so you're notified, stuff like that. We would massively, massively appreciate it. Here we go. Preparing game. Now we're cooking. Now we're getting ready to get some mods in our FIFA. Because let's face it, when you play FIFA with no mods, it's an awful game. It's an awful piece of poo-poo. Poo. But when you add mods, it makes it fun. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the gold Arsenal splash screen from like title up to eight does still work, which is awesome. I also have reshade now, which I'm gonna test out in future career mode. So hopefully we'll see the graphics look a little bit better. Are the mods working is the question. We're gonna to go to kickoff. If you press F9, there is the live editor. So the live editor is still working in title update 13. We'll go to kickoff, Arsenal v Spurs. And there are the kits. Now I do have uh, the old, I've not changed the squad. So we still have all the legends and stuff like that, but that is okay. You can see the kit mods are working. We'll go into a game, see if the camera mods are working. It should say Sky Sports in the top right, if it is working. And there we go, Sky Sports. You can see the camera mod is working as well. If we go to settings and game settings, go to camera and zoom all the way out and zoom all the way in. That's how you know the camera mod is working because of course that is a zoomed in and out camera mod. Let's see how the gameplay mod works. Very, very quickly, if we can see some stuff with all the new add-ons that we have. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale running it behind. Gabriel misses him. Oh, he got a foul. He got a foul, and he gets sent off already. The referees, I forgot to change them to lead it because they are very aggressive on this gameplay mod. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The mods are clearly working. All are happy dandy here today. Make your FC24 amazing with mods and hopefully this tutorial has helped you very very much leave a thumbs up if you did and i'll catch you in the next one much as always take care and peace before you go don't forget to like comment and subscribe we yeah